We know quite a few people carry both business and personal phones now, which is why we've designed the double decker case. This case allows you to carry both, or you can also design it to carry a phone and an extra battery, or any other combination you like. We'll go over how to order this kind of case step by step now. And now we're back to StoryLeather.com. Let's go down to the Customize Your Own tab and scroll down to find the double decker case. We'll click on the image and now we'll be able to start the customization process. You'll notice on this one there are a lot of exterior color and patterns. Just in red alone there are different patterns. The thin red line, the red crocodile, red ostrich. To make our case we're going to choose the red leche pattern and a box will appear on the right hand side showing the color we chose. Let's scroll down and choose the matching interior. This time I'm going to choose a contrasting interior. And you'll notice another box has appeared. And so we have red and black as our main colors. On the double decker case there are a few more options than the previous ones we've looked at. In this one there are multiple options for the back cover. There's a back insert, a belt insert, zipper pull, belt loop, leather on metal clip large, leather on metal clip small, clip on with anti-slide, snap on buttons over belts, and none. We'll go out of that and we'll click on the one we want. I'm going to choose the clip on with the anti-slide. And then we'll scroll down to the bottom opening style. There are two options, one that has a bottom opening and one that does not. I'm going to click on the one with the bottom opening and another box has appeared showing us which one we chose. And now we'll choose the optional add-ons. Again, there's no thanks, a leather hand strap for $5, a leather carrying strap for $5, an adjustable leather shoulder strap for $10, and an adjustable leather lanyard for $10. I'm going to click on no thanks because we already have the back cover with the anti-slide clip and so I don't think we need an additional carrying strap. And now let's move on to step number six, personalization option number one. As we mentioned in the previous case, this is complimentary, up to 10 characters, and all caps only. I'm going to leave this one blank, and we'll move on to step number 7. Personalization option number 2, number 7, personalization option number 2, which is a $10 add-on logo stamping. Again, it's limited to a 1 inch by 1 inch image, and if you choose to do so, you would click browse and upload the image that you would like to add. And the next step we're asked if we're using a protective case. I'm going to click no, but if the answer is yes for you, then click yes and enter the type of case in step number nine below. And let's go ahead and move on to step number nine, where we will specify the make and model of our phone. I will enter Apple iPhone 4, and since I'm not using a protective case, I'll go ahead and let them know that that's what I'm doing. You can also enter a belt's width and thickness. If you're using a belt loop clip or these clip-on with anti-slides, sometimes you want it to be made specifically for a type of belt. If you don't, um, then just simply leave that part blank and they'll make it to the standard width and dimensions. This is also where you would enter any other special request you may have. If you don't have any and you're all finished, then you might want to look over all of your options that you've chosen since this is a particularly difficult case to order. Make sure the color patterns of your exterior and interior are what you wanted. The back cover is what you chose. The bottom opening style is the style that you requested. If you chose any add-ons or personalization, double check those. And then scroll down and add to cart. And that's it. We hope that cleared up any questions you have. But if you do happen to have more, please call or email us. We'd be happy to help you design the perfect case for you.